Hello viewers, on behalf of the Medical Genetics Department at AR Genomics, a unit of Craft Quality Center, myself Dr. Ritu wants to introduce you to a series of medical genetic tests which we perform at Craft. Now unfortunately genetic diseases have got no cure, but early prevention is the medicine. And how early is what depends on what technology we use, how many skilled geneticists are there in the country, etc. So, at different levels of pregnancy, we have got genetic testing. Now, the first level of pre-pregnancy planning, when a couple gets married and then they want to have babies, are they at higher risk of transmitting any genetic problem to their offspring? The first level is an embryo level. At embryo level, we can actually diagnose all genetic conditions, either chromosomal or a genetic problem and then we can make sure the embryo is perfectly healthy to transfer in a female. Now, the three technologies which are used in the embryo level for genetic problem diagnosis is PGTA, that is referred to as pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy, which works at the chromosome level. Down syndrome is the most commonest form of chromosomal problem referred to as mongolism or trisomy 21 babies. These kind of problems are more common in advanced maternal age, even younger uh, age group people. As per our experience here, we have seen even 25 years females delivering a Downs baby. So it is not only restricted to advanced maternal age, it can be of randomly for anybody. Now getting a chromosomal screening of the embryo is of the foremost choice these days. Many couples who come in for IVF wants to get it done as a regular part of the program just to ensure their baby is chromosomally normal. Apart from trisomy 21, there are other aneuploidies like trisomy 18, 13 or monosomy chromosome sex aneuploidies. Now these are the five chromosome problems which are associated with, which are compatible with life. Apart from this, there might be other chromosomal abnormalities which can end up in miscarriages before three months of pregnancy. So such kind of couple are grouped under RPL, that is recurrent pregnancy losses. Now recurrent pregnancy losses also 90% can be because of chromosomal problems even though the karyotype, that is the chromosomes of both the parents are normal. But then why it happens is uh, because the meiotic non-disjunction, that means the cell division which occurs in the egg and sperm of male, of female and male can actually give rise to problems in chromosomes of the embryo. So these can actually be diagnosed before an embryo is implanted into the uterus that is referred to as PGTA. Now what is PGTM? That is for monogenic diseases. 